recently a bill was introduced by Representative Brian Babin that essentially would block all federal funding going to states participating in issuing reparations programs for the descendants of American slavery. So what I'd like to do is take a moment to read a little bit of what's in this bill, and then we'll get back into the discussion. A Texas GOP House member introduced a bill to block federal bailouts for states or municipalities that implement reparations programs. Texas Republican Representative Brian Babin introduced the No Bailouts for Reparations Act last week, which would prohibit federal bailouts or financial assistance from going to states or municipalities operating programs giving reparations for slavery. American taxpayers shouldn't be forced to pay for radical race-based reparation payments to please the woke left, Babin told Fox News Digital. My bill ensures that government entities enacting reparation laws based on race, ethnicity, national origin, or slavery cannot receive federal bailouts, the Texas Republican continued. According to Babin's bill, the U.S. government, including the Federal Reserve System and independence agencies, may not provide any loan, grant, or other form of financial assistance to the government of any state or political subdivision thereof, or any agencies or instrumentally of such a state or political subdivision that enacts into law any programs providing reparations on the basis of slavery or race, ethnicity, national origin, or historical practices related thereto. The bill also shall only apply to the unit of government so enacting a reparations program. So there's that. Now, many people are starting to speak about this bill now that was introduced. And mind you, it has not come to the House floor for a vote in the House of Representatives, let alone has it been brought up for a vote in the Senate. It's simply a bill that was introduced, nothing more, nothing less. There are a multitude of bills that are introduced regularly, the majority of which never make it to the House floor for a vote. And most likely, this will be another one of those bills. And let me be honest with you, as a content creator and as someone who is in media, by and large, bills that are, quote, introduced mean absolutely nothing. When a bill is introduced, the only time you see it make headlines in a YouTube video and or mainstream media outlets is simply for clicks, views and high ratings. That's really it, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. If a bill has not passed either the House or Senate, then there's really nothing to talk about. Bills get, quote, introduced regularly, the overwhelming majority of which never get turned into law. Now, here's the main reason that I wanted to bring this to your attention. People are starting to talk about this. It's making its rounds on social media and on YouTube. And many people are taking this as an opportunity to fearmonger black Americans into voting Democrat because of the evil boogeyman Republican who wants to put you back in chains. But the reality is, is that when it comes to reparations, neither the Republican Party nor the Democratic Party are actually interested in doing that. The only difference between the two parties is that the Democrats will at least pretend to entertain us when speaking on reparations. But the proof is in the pudding when it comes to their lack of seriousness. Now, many of us are aware of the H.R. 40 reparations bill, which is not a bill that delivers reparations, but it's simply a bill to put together a commission to study reparations. That's it to study. This is a bill that was created by John Conyers in 1989. And as you can see on your screen right now, from 1989 to the present date, this bill has never even made it to the House floor for a vote. This is despite the fact that the 116th Congress and 117th Congress were Democratic controlled. As you can see in the 116th Congress section on January 3rd of 2019, H.R. 40 had 173 sponsors, yet the bill died in committee, never making it to the House floor for a vote. On January 4th, 2021, the H.R. 40 bill had even more co-sponsors, 196. That's up from 173 sponsors. H.R. 40 had 196 co-sponsors, and it was simply referred to Committee of Jurisdiction, but it was never actually brought up to the House floor for a vote. Both the 116th Congress and 117th Congress, as it pertains to the House of Representatives, were both Democratic-controlled. But you know what the Democrats did do in that same time period? 
They couldn't find the time to simply pass a bill that would study reparations, but they did find a time to pass a bill in the House of Representatives called the Federal Crown Act. And for those of you who don't know what this bill is, it's a hair discrimination bill. Yes, you heard me correctly. A hair discrimination bill. The Democrats would not pass H.R. 40, a bill to simply study reparations. They couldn't find the time for that. They didn't find that important enough. But what they did find the time for was to pass a bill on hair discrimination. As you can see here, it reads under Federal Crown Act on September 21st, 2020, the U.S. House of Representatives passed the Crown Act of 2020, which failed to pass the Senate. The bill was then reintroduced on March 22nd, 2021 in the House and Senate simultaneously as the Crown Act of 2021 and was passed by the House on March 18th of 2022, but it was not passed in the Senate. Now, once again, I hate to beat a dead horse, but these Democrats that apparently love black folks so much, they want to look out for you. They want to close the racial wealth gap. They want to right the wrongs of the past. They couldn't find time to pass a wildly flawed bill known as H.R. 40, Commission to Study and Develop Reparation Proposals for African Americans Act. No, they couldn't find time to do that, but they did find time to pass a hair discrimination bill. What's my point? My point is to relay the message to you all to please do not let vote blue no matter who is Throw this bill in your face that was introduced by Representative Brian Bannon as some way to fear monger you into just simply voting blue no matter who, just so you can get nothing in return for your vote as you've been getting since 1964. The Democrats thrive on the fact that black Americans out of fear just simply vote Democrat religiously, unlike any other group in this country, despite the fact that they never give you anything in return for your vote. Henceforth, the reason why the racial wealth gap continues to grow ever wider. The fear mongering has to stop. The day has to come when black Americans can no longer be persuaded by way of fear of the boogeyman Republicans. The day must come when we are only persuaded through logic. We cannot continue to throw away the little bit of leverage that we have left in American politics, which is the black vote. Because if I'm being completely honest, we are running out of time. And in a few short years, before you can blink twice, black Americans will become completely politically irrelevant. Strangers in a country that they built, where by 2064, you will be fourth on the population list. You cannot let that happen. But that depends on you and not somebody else. So with all that being said... That does it for today's video. So please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. All social media links will be pinned in the comment section below. I also have a Telegram group now, so if you have Telegram, make sure to hit the link in the description box below as well as pin the comment section to join my Telegram group. And also, please make sure you text TD Hip Hop to number 33222. That's TD Hip Hop to number 33222. That way you'll get a text notification whenever I release a new video, but it also serves as an insurance plan for myself. So in case YouTube ever gives me the ax, I'll be able to send you a direct link to where you can find me next. And last but certainly not least, for those of you who have a love and a appreciation for the work that I put in on this channel, the number one way you can show your support is through Patreon. For only $3 a month, that will help put me in position to take TD Hip Hop Media off of YouTube. Remember, the goal is not to grow big on YouTube, but to grow independent of YouTube. And for those of you who have issues with joining Patreon, you can also hit the join button that's next to the subscribe button, and that way you can become an official channel member for as little as $3 a month as well. And lastly, if you haven't already, please make sure you join the emailing list. There is no way that I can go independent of YouTube if I cannot take the audience with me. And the link to that will be pinned in the comment section as well. Thank you for your time. And until the next video, peace.